it's just such an ordinary title, it's not standing out. Uh, it has uh, it's James, James Mangold, it has Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise? Yeah. Hey. Knight, K-N-I-G-H-D, and Dad. And that looks like the... Is that Cameron Diaz? Like Hi, my name is Keith in Denver. I'm a web developer, photographer, belong to a beard club where this past fall I got number two in my category in a competition, but I'm not here to talk about Beard Club. What I want to talk about is how I became the first. Now it all starts back in the summer of 1991. I worked for a company in Houston and they sent me to Salt Lake on a temporary assignment, um, which was only supposed to last two weeks. And um, as I was driving in from the airport, I was filling with the radio station. I came across the station that was playing all this modern rock type of stuff that I listened to at the time. The Cure, REM, Susie and the Banshees, uh, Depeche Mode, stuff you didn't hear on the radio at that time. You only would hear that on college stations, maybe. Um, but the, the longer I listened, then I started hearing commercials, uh, Creamer Weaver Milk and, and, uh, and bike shops and things like that. And, and I thought, wow, this is a real actual radio station. It's, it's got morning shows and DJs and commercials, got a rough edge and, and, and doesn't take itself too seriously and plays a great selection of music. So... I, I was just blown away by this station, and uh, when I got back to Houston, I was so disappointed in the radio there that when uh, the company sent me back to Salt Lake, I uh, started making recordings of KJQ. Generally, what you would do was you'd you'd record it to cassette tape, but that's only 90 minutes, and you have to flip it over halfway. So, how does a person go about recording, you know, several hours of a radio station um, back in the 90s with with just limited technology. So what I found you could do was make a videotape of the audio from the stereo. And it, it sounded really good. Come live with me. That's uh, Heaven 17 on KJQ 92.7 at Salt Lake 95.5 in Ogden. Flashbacks on the way from the call. Also some uh, prefab sprout coming up, some Howard Jones and uh, Smiths for you too. So stick around for all these great flashbacks still to come today. It's, it's interesting to listen to it now. Um, but that December, the station started changing. You could tell something was going on. Uh, the music wasn't as eclectic and the DJ started leaving left and right. And it was just kind of sad uh, and I didn't know what was going on and but I was just really upset that the station I'd fallen in love with was decaying right before my eyes so that um, February of 1992 I read an article that said that uh, the former DJs from KJQ were getting together to start their own radio station along with some other folks that helped them put it together so that first morning which was February 17th 1992 I popped in a tape and started recording, and the very first song in regular rotation was uh, Dream Kitchen by Fraser Course. The first morning show was Dom and Bill, Project X with Dom and Bill, and uh, it was Dom Casual because Carrie uh, was still at KJQ for insurance reasons. And um, it was a good show, it was fun. Uh, Dom suggested that first morning that they name their first official listener but the, the listener would have to come through with a tape to prove that they were the first official listener. So I called up and said, hey, I've got a tape. I'm your first official listener. So I got the official honor of being the X96 first official listener. So it is with this honor of being your first official listener, I want to wish you a very happy 25th silver anniversary of X96 on the air all these years. You're still there. I'm still here. I've got silver too. Um, and I'm still a morning listener every day. I listen to radio from hell on my phone uh, in the way to work. Um, and as I say, Bill, make mine a double. Carrie, Geek Show says hi. Gina, furry is better. Well, well, well. Salt Lake City, X96.